To measure phosphate using the DR300 pocket colorimeter, you get a blue box like this. Inside, you've got a colorimeter, two glass cuvettes and caps, pack of reagent, and some instructions. First time you open it, you'll also have some batteries, which you need to insert into the battery compartment at the back. The instructions are very comprehensive, but only give you information on how to operate this device. To run the specific phosphate test, refer to the instructions online or in your volunteer coordinator kit. If you need a reminder, there's a very basic overview on page 11. First time you operate your colorimeter, you'll need to set the time. After that, you should store it. Top section of the colorimeter comes off. Here's the cap. And there you can see the hole where you put your cuvette. When you first switch it on, you'll see that there's a triangle pointing to number one or number two. You want to make sure that your triangle is pointing to number one because we're using the low range. If it's pointing to number two, just click the triangle button and it will move back to number one. You've also got a flashing zero. That's telling you that the colorimeter is ready to get the blank. Before you do the blank, for this test kit, you can prepare your sample so it can sit and the color develop while you do your blank. So we'll prepare our sample to start with. Take one of your cuvettes and rinse it with your sample. Pour a little bit into the bottom of the cuvette, cap on, a little bit of a shake and then pour it onto the ground. This is just river water so you can dispose of it on the ground. Repeat that three times to ensure your cuvette is nice and clean. When you've done your three rinses, pour in your sample up to the 10 milliliter mark on the cuvette and pop the cap on. Next, you need to get your reagent. In your reagent packet, you'll see that there is some hazard symbols. This one tells me that the chemical is hazardous to the environment. It's also an irritant and can be toxic. So you'll see that I'm wearing gloves. Follow the instructions of your volunteer coordinators to keep you safe. Inside are these little powder pillows containing the white powder reagent. Give them a little bit of a flick to try and get all the powder down into the bottom. And then you can simply tear off or cut off the top. If you use scissors, make sure they're not your kitchen scissors from home. And once you tear off the top, pop that in a waste bag or a pocket to stop it blowing away in the wind. Then push your, the corners together to make a sort of spout. Take your sample, cap off, and then pour in your reagent very carefully. Tap it on the top to try and get as much as possible in. Pop your powder pillow packet into your waste bag. Then get your cap on. Give it a really vigorous shake for 10 to 15 seconds. After that time's up, have a look and see if you've still got any big chunks of powder. If you have, for example, the water's a little bit chilly today, so it can sometimes take a little bit longer to dissolve. Give it another shake for another 10 to 15 seconds. After it looks like the majority of the chunks have dissolved, set a timer 
for two minutes. Put that sample to one side while you do your blank. To do your blank, take the second cuvette, give it a little bit of a rinse out with your sample three times. And again, this is just river water, so it can be poured onto the floor. When you think your um, cuvette is rinsed, fill up your sample to the 10 mil line. I've got, I've got a little bit of an overfill here, so I'll just tap out a drop. There we go. Then give your cuvette a really good clean to get rid of any fingerprints or drops on the outside. And then once you've cleaned it, try and hold it by the black cap at the top. Remove the lid from your colorimeter and insert your cuvette into the hole, making sure that the diamond on the cuvette lines up with the triangle on the colorimeter. Then pop the light cap on and press the zero button. Wait for those lines and then a zero should appear when you're ready to go. Now you have between two, at least two minutes, but up to 10 minutes to get your sample into the cuvette. So I've got one more minute to wait until my sample's ready for analysis. When your two minutes is up, you can take your blank out of your cuvette and replace it with your treated sample. So first check that there aren't any big bubbles, particularly on this one where you've been doing lots of shaking, give it a little bit of a flick to disperse the big bubbles and wipe down the outside of the cuvette to make sure the light can pass through it. Insert it into the colorimeter, again making sure that your triangle and diamond are lined up. Then pop the cap on to exclude the light, press the big green button. And that's given me a reading of 0.62 milligrams of litre of phosphate. So I'll put that into my EpiCollect app or scribble it down on a piece of paper for now, noting the time. Now I can turn my colorimeter off, to save the battery and clean out my sample bottles. Put your colorimeter back in the box, keep it nice and safe and dry. My sample bottles, my blank, just river water, so it can be disposed of on the ground. And then you may wish to rinse this out with deionized water or with tap water when you get home. This cuvette has got a chemically treated sample in it, so I want to make sure I dispose of this responsibly. So I've brought a waste bottle with me. I'll dispose of the treated sample in that waste bottle. And then I'm going to rinse out my cuvette with deionized water. If you have deionized water, you can use this. If you don't, don't worry. You can use tap water or follow the instructions of your volunteer coordinator. Pour a little bit into your cuvette. Cap on, invert it into your waste bottle. Do that at least three times. And try and get into all the crevices around the edge of the bottle by giving it a good rotate as you invert it. Then you can pack everything up to take home. When you get home, I'd recommend opening up the box, taking the caps off the cuvettes to leave them to air dry so you're all ready for your next sampling mission. If 
the weather's terrible when you're collecting your samples, you might not wish to mess around with the colorimeter and the powder pillows in the pouring rain. Please try and take the sample as soon as possible after you've taken it out of the river. So move to somewhere sheltered, pop an umbrella up somewhere out of the wind and do the sample as quickly as possible. But your safety and comfort is the priority. Thank you for measuring phosphate.